What if your notes weren't just files, but rooms in a mansion? A place where your thoughts live, connect, and grow. In this video, I'll show you how to start your Zettelkasten in Obsidian using a mental model I call the Idea Mansion. It's how I move beyond just taking notes to making ideas I actually want to return to. Zettelkasten is a, a note-making system, one idea per note, written in your own words, connected as you go. But here's how I picture it. Each note is a room in your personal idea mansion. You're not filing information. You're shaping a space where insights live and interact. Obsidian is perfect for this. It stores your notes locally, links them easily, and lets you see how your thoughts connect. You don't need a complicated system. Just build one room and then another and follow what lights up. Let's build your first room. Start with an idea that you've been thinking about. For me today, that would be curiosity drives creativity. And I might fill the note with something like, when I follow my curiosity, instead of forcing a plan, I tend to stumble onto better ideas. Creativity isn't just about output, it's about attention. So if I feel stuck, I trace what I'm genuinely curious about. That's usually where the spark lives, right? So you write it in your own words, not to impress, but to understand. And this is where a room becomes livable. Now, as you write your thoughts, you want to pull out a sentence from that room and make it a new room, right? So for me, creativity isn't just about output. It's about attention. It's something that I would want to make its own room. So I would wrap it in double brackets and then I would go into that room. And maybe I'd write something like, this sentence showed up while writing about how curiosity drives creativity. And I can go ahead and highlight curiosity drives creativity and link that back to the original note. But it deserves its own space. I treat creativity like a product, but really it's a byproduct of attention. What I attend to expands. And maybe that's why scrolling kills creativity. It scatters my attention across too many rooms at once. You see, when a sentence starts glowing, you want to make it a room. And this is how your mansion grows organically and honestly. There was something else that sparked my curiosity, and that is scrolling kills creativity. So I could follow the thread again and create this uh, and make it a new room. I would enter that room and write something like, I've never had a breakthrough idea mid-scroll. Scrolling feels like inspiration, but it hijacks the attention creativity needs. Maybe scrolling is like wandering someone else's mansion while yours sits empty. Now this is the secret. Follow what's alive. Each glowing idea becomes a new room. And the doors you built between them that's where your original thinking lives. Now you can zoom out and you'll see your thinking starts to connect. Three rooms, three doors, a hallway of thought. That's how a mansion begins. And that's how your notes go from scattered files to an actual space for discovery. You don't need a massive vault. Just build one room today, one idea, then follow the glow. Your idea mansion will rise note by note and door by door. And someday you'll look back and realize you built a home for your thoughts. If this way of thinking speaks to you, I made something for you. It's called the Idea Mansion. It walks you through the metaphor and the method step by step, and you'll learn how to capture sparks before they fade. Explore your thoughts with curiosity and turn half formed ideas into essays and videos and breakthroughs and conversations with others. Your mind will get lighter and your ideas will make more sense and sharing your work will feel natural because you've lived with it first. You can grab the idea mansion with the link below. Start building. Your ideas are worth living with.